In this video, I'm going to show you how we can enhance details and target that detail enhancement using luminosity masks. And to do that, we go into the dodge and burn panel. And down here, you'll see detail shad, detail lights. That's detail shadows and detail lights. So I want to add details just to the shadows here. I don't want to affect the brightest parts of the image. So I can choose detail shads. With this high pass option, we can increase the local contrast effect by bringing along the radius to the right or decrease it by bringing the radius to the left and that'll create a sharpening effect. But let's make it quite strong here and I'll press OK. And now you see we have this levels dialog and this is our luminosity mask behind it. We just want to select the darker areas and not the brighter areas so we want to create a much more selective targeted mask. That means we want our shadows to be white and our highlights to be black. So I'm going to bring the midtones and the highlight slider along. And I think that's probably OK. Our highlights seem to be black or really dark gray. Then I can press OK. And now if I zoom in to the canyon, here's before and after, before and after. You see we've added some beautiful local contrast. But look at how it's not affecting the brightest areas. So we've got a bright area here before and after. We're just affecting the darker areas. And of course, we can always reduce the opacity of that detail shadows area if we think it's a little bit too strong. So there's before and after. And you'll see we have the mask applied. If I disable the mask and zoom in once more and view that layer, that's what our detail enhancer looked like. But if I enable the mask, you see we're restricting and taking control of that detail enhance layer. And you can do the same with detail lights. That will have exactly the same detail enhance functions, but it will be affecting the brighter parts of the image.